Greetings, everyone. Core here. It's time for another Midnight Review. And, of course, it's the month of March, and March is going to have one review a week because it's a busy month for movies. It's pretty interesting because it seems like some blockbusters are now becoming to become <laughs> spring blockbusters. So, first up on the list is going to be Logan. And I saw this in IMAX, and it looked beautiful, to say the least. Um... It's <laughs> it's interesting because it, this movie shows how superhero movies have changed uh, from the beginning, from the first, you know, Spider-Man and even before that, the, you know, 80s and 90s superhero movies. But pretty much from Spider-Man, I think, is the, the, the last, uh, you know, era of comic book movies. Before that was, you know, the 90s and the 80s, so... But I think the current generation usually start from Iron Man, and before that was Spider-Man. And this movie, it feels completely different from any other comic book movie that's out there. Um, it is R-rated, of course, and a lot of people were worried that the R rating was just gonna, just in you know in lieu of the whole Deadpool. Um, but really, it had to be R-rated. Because we've had, you know, unrated versions, of course, on DVD and Blu-ray. Um, you know, the last Wolverine movie was, you know, had an unrated version, which was a lot better. Because it told the story better than the theater cut. This one, I don't, I don't think there's going to be an, un, you know, unrated, unedited version. This feels like this was the director's vision. There's not much else you could add to it. Uh, maybe besides maybe a couple more sappy scenes, uh, but there's not too many of those to say the least. But yeah, it's just it's it almost doesn't feel like a superhero movie. I mean, granted, Wolverine is pretty, you know, more ba you know his abilities are more based on you know superhuman strength. Uh, you know, besides the skeleton, his the only factor which is pretty much almost gone in this movie, of course. And he's more mortal than, you know, previous movies. And it's really interesting to see him, you know, in that weakened state. And how, you know, bitter and callous he's come to the whole world and everything, you know, around him. And you get to see Professor X, of course, what happens to him. Um, you get to see Caliban, too, as well. Uh, of course, you do get to see uh, <clears throat> Weapon 23, X-23, uh, Lauren. Which is, of course, I try not to spoil too much, but if you know the comics, you know who, you know, all this stuff about her. Yeah, they really don't shy away from too much from that. Uh, she's, I gotta say, as far as acting, everyone, everyone does a great job. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But she, she must, she's about 11, I believe. Um, she does an amazing job, and... I don't know who the, the stunt person was for her, but they did an amazing job too. And I'm sure the CG and you know everything else you know combined together, camera trickery and everything just made it perfect. Because there's n almost no hint that is it is not a little girl doing these stunts, and it's pretty impressive to see how far technology has gone into that, and especially as far as um, blending you know everything in. But yeah, she she's really good. I mean, she hardly has any lines at all. Uh, if you've seen the trailers, you kind of get an idea of that. And it's just lo her expressions, the way she moves, uh, the way you know Logan interacts with her, the way Professor X you know interacts with her. It's just she <laughs> you know is beyond her age and acting skills at least, to say the least. <laughs> and I hope she gets some you know, more jobs, more work after this, hope she really becomes something amazing, because I feel she can be, especially if she goes into action, I think she could be really good for that. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if they continue the story to, you know, have her as the main character, like they've done with the comic series where Wolverine is now uh, Lauren, um, and because, well, Logan's dead, <laughs> pretty much, in the comics at least. But, yeah, it's... This movie just has a completely different vibe than any other superhero movie, and I like it. Um, you know, the X-Men movies always had a more grounded sense to them. 
but this doesn't even feel like an X-Men movie, not even, you know, Days of Future Past series, not even the original trilogy, it just feels completely different, and that's a good thing, because it shows the evolution of comic book movies into something that's more serious, something that, well, could definitely be taken more seriously to a more, you know, wider audi audience and everything, um, but yeah, it's... It's a really good movie. Uh, as far as brutality, yeah, it is R-rated, and they use every bit of that R-rating as far as violence and brutality goes. It's pr it's pretty <laughs> gruesome. Some of the, you, you get that, uh feel, you know, some of the kills. And it's really cool to see, you know, Logan actually being Logan. He goes into his, you know, berserker rage, uh, which is always fun to see. Everyone wants to see that, of course. Um, what else? Uh, the sceneries are, are beautiful. I mean, I, like I said, I saw this IMAX, just the environments and everything were just amazing. Uh, the camera work was really great. It, you know, they didn't use too much shaky cam. They got to see some of the action, but also blended it really well, so you don't get tired of that. You know, quick jolt action movement. And everything, everything was really well choreographed and everything. <coughs> uh, music really fit perfectly. Uh, it's, Logan, it's funny the way he looks. Uh, he's not quite, you know, old man Logan. I, I was telling my friends, like, since I first saw the first trailer, I didn't know it was... I was thinking, I didn't think Wolverine. I thought it was Mal Gibson. Because he looks like Mal Gibson in, like, one of his latest movies. I believe he has, you know, the big bushy hair and the beard. I think just his regular look, he <laughs> looks like him. But, um, I was like, what? Yeah. But... Uh, it's such a great movie. Uh, it, if you like Wolverine at all, go see it. The audience I thought was pretty great. Um, there is, just to, so you don't waste your time, there is no end credit scene. Just so you know, there's no, there's nothing. Don't waste your time. I sat through it just to find out. Tell you now, there is none. Don't waste your time. So, but there is a opening credit scene that is truly amazing. And I will not spoil it, but <coughs> I'm sure the internet's already done that. But overall, the story was really good. I was actually I was kind of surprised. I thought it would fall off a little bit towards the end, um, just to be a little more corny or just you know just a way some movies do. You know, especially X Men movies, they kind of they get a little iffy towards the end. But this one kept it strong throughout the whole movie and. I was impressed, <laughs> to say the least, but, yeah, definitely see it, I do highly recommend it, um, next week, I will be seeing Kong, and that looks good, cause especially if you've seen the last trailer, the last Kong, uh, Skull Island blockbuster trailer, I believe it's called, it looks amazing, and I probably might see it in IMAX too as well, but, until next time guys, later.